We're heading back to the Ray Cal Library to learn more about 19th and 20th century colored glass formulas. Let's go check out some batch books. We started off in the library's archives, and the reference associate Katie pulled these specific notebooks that hold important secrets to making colored glass. So we cleaned our hands and set them up to take a look. Batch books are like recipe books for combining chemicals to create colored glass formulas. These specific books are Edward Ford, Leo Moser, and the Dithridge family. Also, I couldn't believe that this one was originally an insurance notepad. Workers frequently noted which batches were successful, like this one, and which ones maybe needed a little work, like this one. Companies and artists of the 19th and 20th centuries depended on these formulas to achieve the brilliant colors and effects their audiences loved. These formulas helped inform what glass workers and designers use today to achieve these certain effects. Some batches were even considered closely guarded trade secrets, and the workers would develop creative ways of protecting their innovations. We know the science is still ongoing and experiments are happening every single day, but it was really cool to learn about that history and development of colored glass. And it gets me really excited for Brilliant Color, which is the exhibition that's coming to CMUG in May. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you all next time, Ray Cal Book Club.